A draft of recommendations in an upcoming report titled The Augustine Report suggests 14 ways that Maryland could be more business friendly. Ryan, what can you tell us about the findings? Um, I have not read the report. But I know that there are... I haven't. I haven't read the report. Too busy yeah. with Woody. What? No. no. That no. did not come out right. That might <laughs> I don't even want to... No. Um, you know what? I think that Maryland um, is on the right track. I know that the governor is doing uh, his due diligence. We've eliminated tolls. Right. Um, yeah. Not cut entirely, but he has reduced Reduced. Tolls. Um, he is... The, the governor Hogan is doing a fantastic job by taking a look at the business climate, um, unrolling some of the, attempting to unroll some of the O'Malley years, which is going to be very tough. We had eight years of disaster, eight years of our businesses moving out of state to Virginia, uh, to Florida, to other places. Right. Um, and we have a fundamentally different approach now in the state house. Um, and I think that with a change of leadership, you're going to look, they're going to take a serious look at Maryland's economics. And for large part, that's why Larry Hogan won, is because he stuck to the script about basically unwinding everything that a future O'Malley right. slash Brown administration would have done. I'm saying he would have been O'Malley part three. Right. But, um, you know, we're, we're, I, we're, we're, we're in the first year of a Hogan administration, so we'll just wait and see. Well, and what I would contribute to that is I think, actually, I, I agree with you in terms of what I think Hogan's done a lot of positive things. Um, I think definitely there, there are areas where we could be more business friendly and we could come up with, ins with incentives to, to attract more businesses, and I think there is a legitimate argument or debate to be had around that. Um, recently, so I heard a, a story in the last couple of days that um, um, General Electric is moving their headquarters into Boston. So kind of an odd area for a large corporation to move, but the reasons that they're moving there is, first of all, the educational levels in Massachusetts, access to the mm -hmm. MIT graduates, oh, God, yeah. uh, and yeah. also... Probably. The nature of changing industry is the fact that the younger workforce expects lower commutes, a more urban environment to be in. Nicer yes. cities to be Nicer in. Nicer cities and all this other stuff. So it's I think, all part of the you know, Maryland has a better yes. educational system than, than Massachusetts does. Yeah. We have the best educational system in the country. And I think as a state, we need to advertise to a large degree those things that make us competitive. And I think, you know, lowering tax, business tax rates, offering incentives for businesses to move here. Especially the corporate tax rate. Offering yes. incentives for yeah, businesses I don't think to stay here. Much, frankly, you know, frankly. and we're, we're lucky in help. our positioning, right? We're right we outside might. of D.C. Uh, so that's, that's yeah. an immediate draw yeah. for oh, companies yeah. to come here. Yeah. But I mean, what happens now, you know, across the United States, it's a race to the bottom. You lower your taxes, the next state does it. They move their business down the road. This is what happened to the American furniture industry that was destroyed basically, you know, 1990s, 2000, most of it, that ended up in China and other places. Well, the reality of the matter is you eventually... You can keep, you know, doing this, but you, they, they're going to move to wherever it, it's good for them. Well, and the edu when you touched upon education, I mean, think about... You need to do these things that yeah. he's talking I mean, about. I think, think about the, you know, making H uh, Hagerstown certainly one of the education hubs in the state yes. of Maryland. I think that's a great yeah. idea. I think so, too, and that's why I think we and have an to arts, And an arts yeah. thing, yeah. I think. Well, and I think that's way past, too. Here. And you know, Cultivating yeah. our downtown for an education Absolutely, hub. and I, I think that's something yeah. that we can all agree on. But we on. don't have county commissioners that have any kind of vision whatsoever. You're right. Other than saying They're no. a little too concerned with uh, characters on the Little Rascals. Yes, well, exactly. and, and unfortunately, yeah. we, have, we have two factions in the county in that, <laughs> yeah. We have two factions in the county. One faction in the county wants to progress, wants to move forward, wants to grow, but then we have another faction in the county that doesn't want any development, doesn't want anything, you know, anything new built. Well, exactly. I, based exactly. upon fault, faulty intellect and fault, uh, faulty logic that somehow that, oh, we have these major developers that are doing X, Y, and Z, and I have somebody that we constantly go back and forth with on Facebook. I won't mention any names, but... It, I, I think the, some development is very good for this community. Yes, and I think at the end of the day, really the reality is we have some people who are just afraid of change. And I think that plays into it as well. Uh, you know, I think, again, I think all of us at this table would agree that making uh, Hagerstown a nexus of education, especially a lot of the stuff around the Go ahead and education say hub, say it. agree? Say it. No. Make Hagerstown great again. Yes, Make Hagerstown should. great again. <laughs> we'll, we'll get hats. Thank you, Donald. Uh. <laughs> or t-shirts or buttons or something. You know, you know what, though? Hagerstown is already great. 
It is great. Hagerstown is great. Hagerstown it has is been great. great for Washington 300 County years is great. Yep. Yes. But we can make yeah. it better. Yeah, we can. We can but, absolutely yeah. make it better. But, you know, I think, you know, when Hogan wants to, his direct prime people in his economic departments, they're trickle-down economic people. We all know that's failed. It's laughable at this point. And I don't see how that's the way forward. I mean, they've been so, preaching so this let's for put 30 in years. Incentives? And to create small businesses. Well, I think you have to. You have to be very careful how you do that. You oh, can absolutely. get companies that will come in, take you for a ride, and then right. move on. So it, you have to be very careful. I think you've got to go after them. Yes, but we have to be offering. I wish in we could talk more about the Marriott bill that went through yeah, today. But, right. Well, whatever. But we we need to do more for the internet here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we need the infrastructure. We have, we have gigabit people. internet coming Exactly. In. This is what is going to attract yeah. them, not just simply because your taxes are 25, you know, tenths or what are 25 hundredths of percent lower than Virginia's. Mm -hmm. Well, and Tom, I think uh, you're going to get the last word on that. Um, stay tuned. Last call is next.